hi welcome to data on my view in this video I'm going to show the query properties in business layer so what do you mean by query properties so as actually we are going to build a report for a report we have to build a universe this is a case for SAP business objects so when you want to create a report usually you will be creating a uh, view if you are using SAP HANA or you will be building a business warehouse uh, in SAP BW or you can still use uh, different data sources like uh, SQL, Oracle so whatever the data source you have to take that data source to the universe layer and you have to build a universe that universe will be supported for report so that is the uh, real scenario end to end case so that query properties in business layer is going to give you the more informations so mostly we will not uh, see those properties as that is not going to be useful uh, uh, for some reasons but still that is effective uh, when you want to uh, increase the number of records in a reporting layer so i'm going to show how to see those properties and still you can adjust to uh, adjust those properties uh, as per your requirement so I am in a business layer just click that business uh, e face and uh, business layer here you can see properties query options comment and custom properties so here bottom you can see summary change data foundation and parameters so let us go from this bottom so summary is going to give you the overall information from your data foundation as well as business layer so the information is going to be how many attributes how many business layer views dimensions filters folders list of values measures so it is going to uh, calculate all the information uh, and it is going to give you the overall summary this is for business layer and you can see the same information for data foundation layer as well so the, by seeing this you can identify the uh, number of measures and number of dimensions you has been uh, used for this particular universe next one is data foundation layer so like uh, if you have modified this efficient data foundation layer uh, you mean uh, you'll be having a separate new data foundation layer if you want to uh, this business layer react for the particular uh, new data foundation layer then you can go to change data foundation and you can click that and you can click finish so these all these objects will be referenced to the new data foundation and parameter this is going to be the uh, values uh, which is available uh, still you can change that these are the properties for uh, parameters so one of the property is going to be distinct value so distinct value in the sense when you have a parameter and it it will be come up with a list of values so if you are referencing uh, one of the column from uh, table or view as a list of value then it may be have a uh, duplicate value duplicate in the sense uh, as it is going to have a more records it is going to have a same uh, values so uh, to avoid that we have to show only list of values or only distinct values uh, as a list of value for your parameter so that is the reason by default it has come up with a distinct so still if you want to add any uh, any more custom properties for your parameter you can add that and you can specify the value here so this is this uh, information is going to affect overall your uh, business layer so the control is here and uh, properties here you can give the explanation about uh, description about your uh, universe or your business layer and query option is the place where uh, we'll be looking for some time so when you have a database with uh, more uh, data uh, if that database has been uh, uh, used for uh, as a source for a report when you run a report usually by default report will render only 5000 records so the default value for uh, that query limit is going to be 5000 but uh, in that 5000 you may miss uh, some of the records uh, because you may your database may have uh, maybe 10,000 or 20,000 records if you want to reflect all the records in your reporting layer then you have to increase the limit here so here I just increased for e fashion as uh, 90,000 rows so it means my reporting layer is going to hold these 90,000 rows and it is going to give uh, this information in my uh, reporting layer 
so like this i can increase or decrease based on our uh, requirement and uh, the size of the database which we are using uh, as a source and the second option is limit execution time to uh, 5 minutes so i will give these minutes uh, to render the result in a reporting layer so this is going to be 5 minutes as a default so on uh, uh, till 5 minutes it is going to refresh uh, it is going to load all the data into the reporting layer and it is going to give you the results and we have other query options allow sub query so as it is going to run uh, sql statement in the back end of each report it is going to have a sub query union intersect and uh, minus operators query stripping so these are the uh, query properties which is uh, mostly for uh, uh, report uh, report back end queries so you can uh, uncheck or uh, uh, check whatever option you want to have in a reporting layer so by default it is going to be checked so try to keep as a check uh, because uh, uh, these are best practices which uh, sap itself recommending us uh, to have the, this uh, information and we have a comment uh, so we can give the comment for this particular uh, business layer so uh, anybody who want to access or who want to analyze this particular universe they can come and see this comment and uh, they can understand uh, better information and custom properties if you want to create any property for you this whole uh, particular universe then you can add that property object name and you can give the value to the uh, that particular ob uh, object or parameter or property so this is a query properties which uh, every uh, developer has to come and see this information and they have to make use of this section uh, for best practices uh, even for uh, performance uh, oriented things